Good evening, I'm Ethan Sandweiss. The City of Bloomington's proposed budget for 2025 is now available for public review. City Council hearings start Monday and continue through Thursday. The 2025 budget proposal includes several initiatives that align with the administration's one-year goals. That includes an overhaul of the city's human resources strategy and development of action plans addressing issues such as street homelessness and annexation planning. The budget can be accessed on the City of Bloomington's website. The city is refusing to recognize the Graduate Hotel as part of a local historic district, which means it won't be able to sell alcohol. The Historic Preservation Commission voted yesterday against the request. This body had expressed the opinion that this is not worthy of historic protection. It's, 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 it's an absolute waste of our time. The First United Methodist Church is less than 20 feet away, and state law doesn't allow establishments close to a church to get liquor licenses. There are exceptions for historic status. Indiana's Public Access Counselor agrees with a complaint filed by WTIU News that Indiana University's Board of Trustees violated the state's open door law during its private meeting May 14. The trustees justified the secret executive session by saying they were going to discuss litigation, which is allowed. But a statement from the board a day later showed that the trustees talked about more than legal matters. In an advisory opinion, the counselor wrote that the statement, quote, indicates that the board veered mightily from its noticed purpose. Tonight's weather will be cool with a low of 65, mostly clear skies. The rest of the week will get hot again with highs in the mid-90s and lows at night in the low 70s. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk tonight at 6.